my God, this kid is huge. He's mastered social media. He's huge everywhere. It's bound to happen. Wherever he goes, he draws crowds. Most dramatic week for Justin Bieber because he found out he wasn't the savior. He walked into a piece of glass and it actually hurt him. Oh my goodness, he's human. He's human. Yeah. Radio host Michael Billy. So, do you think? that Marissa Mayer is setting this unrealistic standard for, for women who are out there and maybe watching what she's doing. I don't think real women care what the CEO of Yahoo is doing. Is there a poll as to what her husband is doing and how he plans to take care of the baby? What is this, 1950? I mean, it's up to her. It's her choice. Women's rights. Hello, where do we live? So, Michael, and I know you got your start as a TV guest on the original Ricky Lake show, but based on those ads alone, who are you giving the edge to? I gotta give it to Ricky. Look at Katie Couric. She's already done the colonoscopy thing. What else is she gonna do? In that ad, she's kissing dogs, she's smelling flowers. What is the show about? With Ricky, she's dancing in the ad. So it's fun, it's sexy. And Ricky's, uh, whole Ricky's audience has now grown up with her. So I think that her yeah. audience is gonna follow her. I, I think she will have a lot of people. But then again, Katie has a built-in audience, and, and, and who are you, Regis Philbin? What is the show about? What is this about? <laughs> now, Nikki. Well, unfortunately, it's already connected. Look, as a film producer myself, movies are made to inspire conversation and communication on, uh, you know, on society and societal issues. Uh, but there's a couple of things I know. In my career, I've covered a lot of murder. I've covered a lot of Hollywood stories. When it comes to a case like this, it's small to think that this is just about a little boy who wanted to grow up to act like Joker. There's a lot more to learn about this man's psyche, and I would say that this has really nothing to do, uh, nothing to do with the film itself. A conspiracy against Mitt Romney by the makers of The Dark Knight Rises. I mean, come on. Is he on pills again? This is ridiculous. I used to host a show. I used to host a political talk show. It's completely made up, non-fact. The comic book guys, anybody who's a fan or a non-fan knows, look, obviously, you said it yourself, the character has been, along for, been around for a long time. Yeah. Totally ridiculous. So I said, please, Brittany, be honest. Mm. Don't just yes. be fluffy. Yeah. I think yes. this is great, but not what we expected. Well, what do you want from Britney Spears? I'm so excited she's putting together a coherent yes. sentence. Look, <laughs> she's had a hard life. So what? She's a little rough around the edges. Just you would little. be too. Do you she's think had she'll a hard keep time. doing that? Or, I Michael, mean, I've stopped trying to figure out <laughs> what naked miniature men hanging on to Lady Gaga has to do with perfume, but that doesn't really matter. It's still going to work because it's Gaga. I I'm trying to put She's two and two together. She's a marketing genius, but what does it smell like? It, it, to me, <laughs> all I have to do is go to the gym to smell like a sweaty gay man. And from the looks of the poster, <laughs> it looks like it smells like a sweaty gay man. Sorry. Okay. But she's a marketing genius, so trust her. She's a business genius. It'll do great. Michael, you think Facebook needs to be a little bit worried? I love what she's doing here. This yeah. is beyond the deadheads and Grateful Dead. This is something that other bands are going to follow. She's mm -hmm. creating a culture. How yeah. many languages can, can you say rah, rah in? I don't know. Ra 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 ra. Yeah. She just needs the Grateful Dead's dancing bears in it. <laughs> I, I'm worried that Sheen hasn't changed. Michael, what about you? You have a little experience in this area and have spoken candidly about it before? Sure, I know he hasn't changed. This is classic alcohol addict behavior. Uh, like I've said on the show before, I've been to rehab about five times myself trying to quit alcohol. And <clears throat> what he's doing is making deals. I can keep doing this, I can keep doing that. And when you get the pressure, you hold back a little, maybe you even quit for a month. But if you don't appropriately go to rehab, if you don't seek actual help, you will get back to the same ways. It's a vicious cycle, and that's what's happening. He didn't get the right type of treatment after he went through all this social media pressure, after he went through his meltdown, and it's just gonna cycle and cycle. People on the show should be worried. He's got to get the right psychological help he needs that any alcoholic addict in his position should get. Yeah, she and needs the, to take the time and think about that. She needs yeah. she's and not just fall into that. I, I agree. I, I think what kind of options does she have with eight kids? She's got to take care of them. She can't be in a full time job. I mean, she may need a short term small gig that's going to make a lot of money. Unfortunately, the two industries that she picked yeah. are perfect for that. It, it's a, it's a desperate situation. There's no better way to say this than a 16 year old. I am so over Madonna.